Okay guys, um, I asked a question the other day about the speed brake and I'm in the simulator 747-400. I've set it up for a landing and we pick up the aeroplane about 100 feet before we get to the minimum for landing in Hong Kong, runway 07 right. And I'll show you what we do with the speed brake and what actually happens with the reverse thrust levers. So I'll just release the fly, flight freeze now. We're flying along. If you look here, the speed brake is armed. I'll put it for an automatic landing, so it should land by itself. 50, 40, there you go. 30, 20, 10. Watch the speed brake when it lands. It goes back, those things on the wings lift up. The pilot then selects these levers that are in the front here to reverse thrust like that. And the reverse, you can see, has just gone green. That's the reverse green here. This is what it looks like here. Speed brake back, these reverse levers all the way back, like that. And that's the noise you hear after landing and the aeroplane is slowing down. As we slow down to a nice comfortable speed, I put, I cancel the reverse thrust and then the engines are back to forward thrust and the speed brake lever is here. Once we get off the runway, the pilot then moves the speed brake lever forward like that and that immediately selects the spoilers on the wings to the down position. So that's what happens. So these are the thrust levers, these are the reverse levers, that's the speed brake lever. There's the auto brake. So I can select four, there's a setting here that's auto brake off, disarm, there's one, two, th three, four, and the maximum auto brake for stopping the aeroplane. There's another position here called RTO, there, RTO, and that's for rejected takeoff. So if I select rejected takeoff, if I pass a speed of about 85 knots on the takeoff, it will automatically apply the brakes, at which point I would manually pull the speed brake, select reverse thrust to stop the aeroplane. And that is the speed brake and the reverse thrust operation. Hope you liked it.